the scenarios are one nil up. I mean, and, and the we'd want to go a one goal up this time rather than what happened against Rosenberg where they went one nil down. But they came back, they showed their metal, and they got the goal. As you say, the the to get to the, to the, to get to the next round, and what you would be saying to them is, and can we get the goal in front this time and make it a little bit easier? You know what I mean? If if there was a mistake made, uh, then we've covered ourselves kind of thing. And I think the St Johnson supporters, who have always backed the team uh, through thick and thin, have got a big part to play. I don't think they realise that sometimes. Uh, going by the last game, Roddy says it was a fantastic atmosphere, even when the team went down 1-0, and sometimes the crowd can turn against you, they kick the team on again, and, and it's amazing if that was to happen again on Thursday night, and St Johnston go down again, they would have to do, rally around the troops again, and, and fingers crossed they can do that. But in European football, you've got to be very, very cagey, because like the game in Monaco, we were sitting nil nil and seventy minutes away from home in the first round, and we were thinking, I'm not thinking, I'm saying, but we were thinking, we've maybe done it here, we've maybe done it, and then it can come back within two minutes. We were two 0 down and up against it, and that can happen with any team, and the same old thing could happen on Thursday night. Uh, fingers crossed, the team took the European confidence and took it in the league on Sunday, and got a one nil one against the Hearts and football's all about confidence and if you've got the guy Stevie May on a high scoring two goals getting called up for the under 21s then fingers crossed he's on a purple patch and you, whenever you want to be in a purple patch it's the crucial games the games that really really count and Thursday night if he can get another goal fingers crossed St Johnson to get through and it's another dream for another trip somewhere else I only see or I only see St Johnston through maybe playing Hibs and things like that and on the telly I hear from Roddy and Roddy says that the team and the manager Tommy Wright which you've got to give credit to Steve Brown the chairman for keeping the manager I mean he could have went for when Steve Lomas went let Tommy Wright go and basically got another manager in with another team but he's obviously seen something in, 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 in the assistant manager to put to manager He's brought Callum Davidson in, who was a player last year, he's now assistant manager. And I think that's one of the things that have always been great about St Johnston. They've had a solid foundation, which was built from Jeff Brown. Always been a family club, warm welcome. And obviously Stevie's still got that's a trait from Jeff, which Stevie's carried on. And I'll, I'll lead him in real good stead for, for the future, you know what I mean? Which has been built over a long, long time. One of the strengths of our team when I played was our, was our team spirit. I mean, there was always Paul Sturrock had kind of set out that it was going to be bonding nights and things like that, and it was fantastic. Uh, I mean, I didn't drink till I was 32, but I certainly drank at St Johnston when we, were, when, when we were here, and it was great. We used to go into Tuesday night, bonding exercises, whatever it may be, and it definitely led to everybody fighting their corner on the pitch, even if guys were left out. They would make sure that the guy who took their place was, was spurred on, there was no like bad blood or anything allowed to, to get into the camp. And it seems to be the same 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 now because uh, you can see this team now have got the same kind of team spirit. Uh, and I think St Johnson from the boardroom typifies that, that you've actually got three or four fans on the board that are in a lucky position, but you can still see their fans at heart uh, even as I say when St Johnston played at Easter Road and I was sitting next to Roddy uh, just a seat away from the director's box and St Johnston won I think 3-0 on a Monday night and you could see Roddy Stevie Brown all the guys jumping up when they scored so that the fans are in there you know what I mean and I think that that's a great thing to have uh, and, and I don't think they'll ever lose that uh, nowadays I've got two pubs uh, around about the Easter Road area and I do get the, the Edinburgh Saints coming in all the time a uh, great bunch of guys I get the guys coming down like John Kaler uh, and all the Saints coming down on the on the Hibs what they consider an away game Easter Road and it's fantastic uh, I get a welcome there I get a welcome here and as I say it's, it's I would never ever say anything bad against the club because uh, the way they treat their ex-players is fantastic